So Dr. Gelrud, we've heard a lot about difficulty with digestion in the condition of chronic pancreatitis. And there's a term that's frequently used to describe this, exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Can you talk a little bit about what that means? Absolutely, Dr. Phillips, thank you. So exocrine pancreatic insufficiency is the medical term that we use to state that the pancreas, it's not making enough enzymes. As we have discussed already, the pancreas has two main functions. The main one, it's uh, enzyme production. Approximately 80% of the gland, 90% of the gland, it's working hard to make all of these enzymes. And the other 10%, again, approximately, it's designed to make hormones. So when the pancreas, it's not able to make the amount of enzymes needed to assure normal nutrition for the patient, that's when they develop this condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. Remember that the pancreas makes amylases, lipases, and proteases. And the lipase, which is the enzyme in charge of making the digestion of lipids possible, plays a major, major role. So patients with exocrine pancreatic insufficiency have a decreased production of enzymes, and it would lead to, it may lead, depending on the degree, to different uh, uh, symptoms and different conditions that we have been talking about during this module. We're always concerned about malnutrition because you may be eating well, you don't have the enzymes. And what I tell patients in lay words is that everything that you're putting in your mouth, it's going straight to the faucet why it's not being absorbed by your body. So uh, you're wasting all of that. That's why frequently we have patients stating that they're eating, that they're hungry, but still they're not gaining weight. Again, that's exocrine pancreatic insufficiency. There's different degrees. How do we treat it? By giving enzyme replacement therapy. And we'll talk about that soon.